welcome to watch the video of uh, common number system and number system conversion in digital circuits different types of uh, number systems that we know decimal binary octal and hexadecimal okay so decimal number the base is 10 for binary it is 2 octal it is 8 and for hexadecimal it is 16 so if it is 10 means what are the symbols so 0 to 9 for decimal number and for binary it is 0 to 1 for octal it is 0 to 7 then for hexadecimal it is 0 to 15 actually but after 0 to 9 the 10 can be considered as a 11 as b and 15 as f humans can only use the decimal numbers the binary number has been used by the computers counting so for decimal it is from 0 to 9 so for 0 the corresponding binary representation is 0 and for octal also 0 and hexadecimal it is 0 okay so consider with another example for 3 the corresponding binary representation is 11 and for octal it is 3 and hexadecimal also 3 so 0 to 15 the corresponding binary numbers has been represented then the octal so for octal it starts from 0 to 7 then when the decimal number is 8 means the octal representation is 10 so 10 11 12 up to 17 it will be continued but generally we are using octal denotes from 0 to 7 for 3 bit representation we are using this and for hexadecimal it is from 0 to 15 and for 4 bit representation we are using this number so the conversion among the bases so we can convert the decimal to octal hexadecimal and binary and all other number systems can be represented in remaining all other forms this is a conversion table so a binary can be converted into a decimal with a base of two position weight method so binary can be represented in terms of octal by grouping three bits and a binary can be represented by hexadecimal by grouping into four bits a decimal has been converted into a binary with the successive division and multiplication method then decimal has been converted into octal using the same rule and for hexadecimal also the same rule the octal to binary conversion we have to represent the binary equivalent in three bits octal to decimal conversion by position weight method octal to hexadecimal first we have to convert the octal number into a binary we know how to convert the octal into a binary so after that we have to group into four bits okay the same case for hexadecimal to binary here in octal we represented in three bits so here we have to represent in four bits so here the position weight method is eight here it is 16. so for conversion from hexadecimal to octal first we convert this hexadecimal into a binary then by three bit representation we have to represent it examples so the given number is a binary number now we have to convert this binary into a decimal okay so here it is 1011.11 okay so we start with this one so this can be considered as 1 into 2 to the power because the, here the base is 2 so we have to use 2 to the power 0 okay so the behind terms can be considered as 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 so it is represented here okay so the terms here can be represented as 1 into 2 to the power of minus 1 and here also 1 into 2 to the power of minus 2 okay so we can easily uh, recognize this so by taking this value as 2 to the power 0 we have to multiply this value by 2 to the power 0 then the values in this side as 2 to the power minus 1 minus 2 this value as 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 3 okay ending all the values we have to sum up all the values okay so here we obtained a 7.75 we converting a octal into a decimal so instead of 2 we have to multiply that value with 8 to the 8 to the power so 7 into 8 to the power of 0 1 into 8 to the power of 1 2 into 8 to the power of 2 1 into 8 to the power of 3 here 4 with the 8 power minus 1 and 3 with the 8 power minus 2 so we have to sum up all the values and we find as 655.546 then hexadecimal to decimal number so instead of 8 here we have to use 16 so 7 into 16 power 0 then f so f we already informed that a is 10, B 11, C 12, D 13, E is 14, F is 15 for hexadecimal number. So here that F is 15 and this A is 10. Okay. So this side that is E to the power. So E means 14. So 14 into 16 power minus 1 and B that is 11 into 16 power minus 2. So we have to sum up all the values. It will be find as 41719.917. Before that we have convert all the numbers into a decimal number. Now we have to convert the decimal into all other remaining number system. Let's start with the binary conversion. So we are providing a number 527.125 to the base 10. Okay. So first we should consider this 527 alone. Okay. So we use this. We have to divide it by 2 until the quotient becomes 0. Okay. So this 527 we should divide it by 2 and the remainder here. So once completed this, we have to write the sequence of bits from this to this. So the arrow mark is mentioned here. So this is the bottom region and this is the top region. So from bottom to top, find out for 0.125 base 10. So if you want to find out for this 0.125 base 10, first is the fact this 0.125 should be multiplied by 2. So we are getting 0.25. So we should take this 0 here. Then 0.25 into 2. Okay. Then we are getting 0.5. Again, take this 0. Then 0.5 into 2. So that value is 1. So we should take 1. 
okay now we have to keep 0, 0.0 only not this one because if we keep this one means it will become 2.0 so 2.0 is not possible for a binary number okay so the first this digit only we should take it so 0, 0.0 into 2 okay so that is equal to 0 so we should stop at this point so read the integer from top to bottom so we have to write the whole sequence decimal to octal conversion so instead of divided by 2 we should use 8 okay so 1180 the given sum is 1180.120 so it should be divided with 8 so it will be obtained as 2234 then for this point 120 we multiply with 8 same case so here the values will be come from 0 to 7 okay so when it is exceed the 7 value then it will be a wrong case the same case for hexadecimal so we should divide it by 16 here also multiply by 16 binary to octal conversion so we should group by three bits from lsb so 101010 the group should be a minimum of that three numbers so that's a rule okay so here there are only one number here but anyway we should include two more zeros okay so if it is in this side means we should add zeros here okay it is this side means we should add zeros here after representing this the corresponding decimal values should be maintained so one for 0, 1, 0 is 2, 1, 0, 1 is 5 and 1, 1, 0 is 6. So now we can represent this binary into a octal, 125.6. Binary to hexadecimal conversion, okay. So this is a binary number, we are converting the hexadecimal by grouping into 4. Here also the same case, but uh, when the number is only 2 means we should include another 2 zeros, okay. So here also only one number is there, so we add 3 zeros. So the corresponding binary value, for the corresponding binary value, we are representing the decimal values. For 0, 0, 1, 0 it is 2. For D is 17.c8. Octal to binary conversion. So for the corresponding octal value, we should represent it into 3 bit binary equivalent. So for 2, it is 0, 1, 0, 5, 1, 0, 1, and for 7, it is triple 1. For 2, 6, also same. Same case, hexadecimal to binary conversion. So for every value, we should represent it in terms of 4 bit binary equivalent. For A, we know that is 10. So for 10, the corresponding binary representation is 1010. 0, 0. For 9, it is 1001. 0, 0, 1. For F, that is 15. So it is double 1, double 1. For 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, and for d that is 1101 1, 1, which is 13 equal to hexadecimal so if a number is given as actal and to we have to convert in the hexadecimal mean first we we should convert them into a binary number then we convert that binary into a hexadecimal okay so we are provided with the 657.26 to 16 for all octal numbers we should convert them into a three bit representation after forming them into three bits then group them into four so this is a binary conversion from octal to binary then after that we have to group them as four so when only two only two numbers are there means we can include zeros in it okay so here also the same case okay after grouping them into four we mentioned the corresponding hexadecimal representation hexadecimal to octal the same thing so for hexadecimal we know it is a four bit representation so we convert the hexadecimal into a binary as four bit representation so after it forms the binary in step two we have to group them into three okay so start from this we have to group them into three and this side also same group them into three whenever Octal representation 37.26. Thank you for watching the video. Meet you in the next video. Till then, it's goodbye from Vijay.